The wasp gets nothing from this, the orchid everything. The natural laws that develop this relationship produce variations on the theme in other parts of the world as well. Orchids grow here in Spain too, and they are no less devious than in Australia. Spring comes half a year later here than down under, and with it come the usual bloom of flowers and the usual legions of insects. As they forage for food, beetles and bees, flies and others randomly pollinate the blossoms. The orchid in this story is called Ophrys speculum. The warm spring weather awakens male wasps of the genus Campsoscolia. This male answers the same call that beckons his distant Australian relatives, but the females of his species are still buried, and he follows a false scent. For the wasp, this orchid not only smells right, it also has wings, a head, and a shiny abdomen covered with fine hair. In fact, this orchid is so convincing that the wasp performs the standard courtship maneuvers before attempting to mate. The orchid fits the wasp so perfectly that the pollen sticks to his head a genetic message he will unknowingly carry to another orchid. When he tries to mate with a second flower, he pollinates it, transmitting the orchid's genes instead of his own. In fact, if you place a female wasp next to Ophrys speculum, the males can't seem to tell the difference at first. The orchid blooms two weeks before the females emerge, so males readily fall for the harmless scheme that has become the orchid's guarantee of another season.